Well, welcome back, and um, got a little problem here today with the wife's fan. No, not fanny, don't be disgusting. Now, this is a problem that can affect record players as well. As you can see, this is a little shaded pole motor, and you'll find these in a heck of a lot of old BSR decks and garage decks and uh, Philips ones as well, where they haven't used a little DC motor. Now over a period of time of course, these motors, it said when they were new, lubricated for life, but nobody expected things to last the length of time that they did in some cases. They might have thought you'll get 20 years if you're lucky, but um, Nobody expected it to last quite as long as some of those old motors did. Well, this one operates on the same idea. And you can see there, those are the bearings, and they're sintered bronze. It's powdered bronze, and it's compacted, compressed, into a sort of cylindrical hollow shape, and that forms your bearing. Now, on the better older designs, usually, you will find inboard, here and here, there is a felt pad, and that acts as an oil reservoir. Uh, this, alas, hasn't got them, because it's only a, a chinky cheapy. But it's still a nice little motor, and it does demonstrate the point. Now, she put that on last night, I think it was, when we turned in, and... Uh, and the fans were very reluctantly turned erratically and very slowly and deep. So I knew what it was immediately. The problem is that after a while, the grease that they use, or the oil that they use, goes waxy. And there isn't much starting torque on one of these things anyway, these shaded pole motors. And so, of course, the thing just sits there, and if it's a record player, you'll end up with a sluggishly moving turntable and all kinds of nasties. So, uh, what to do? Well, in the case of this one, it's uh, very easy to get at. It is on a lot of the old record players. What you need to do is uh, use some of this 3-in-1 or sewing machine oil or some such and just lubricate these sintered bronze bearings. And if you can, leave it overnight so that it can soak in. Remember what I said about the sintered bronze bearings being made of powder? It will soak into it. And make sure, if the little felt pads are there, that they're nice and oily as well. And this will all help. Whatever you do, be careful with a record player, or if you've got a fan that pushes on the armature shaft like this does, or rotor shaft, should I say, not to get any oil on that. Don't get any on the record player shaft either, because um, the motor will spin merrily away and it won't drive the idler or the belt or whatever, and uh, there'll be lots of swearing and bloody thing and so on and so forth. Don't get it on the rubber mountings either if fitted because, uh, of course, oil and rubber, not particularly good, is it? Causes it to rot out. So, having freed this one off, I certainly couldn't do that before. Spin it as freely as that. They should be very, very free to spin. If you do end up undoing these and actually taking the whole thing apart, it's a good idea to tap it lightly with something uh, rubber or wood. Don't use anything made of metal to do it because that will help the bearings to uh, self-align. They're actually shaped a bit like an olive. A pitted olive inside those are. In that the outer sides are curved, but of course the inside is a straight cylinder. And so, uh, yeah, you do need to be careful of that. And then away you should go, and, um, well, who could say? It'd probably be another few years before I have to do this again. WD-40, uh, yes, you can use that, but 
it's not very good it's usually only a temporary fix in the case of this thing this sort of motor anyway i hope this helped and uh, we'll see you soon back at the lunatic asylum